Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today uh, I wanted to uh, do a video about my uh, favorite homestead gun now or rifle. Um, now if you want to go to the uh, very end of this and find out what I think, uh, please do. Uh, but it, it will be a long video. Uh, as uh, Nothing Fancy says, it's going to be almost feature length. Uh, but, uh, first of all, let me uh, tell you about some of the philosophies of uh, use for the homestead and living off-grid. And then secondly, or a farm or, or anything like that. Um, and uh, secondly, I wanted to kind of dispel some of the, dispel some of the myths surrounding what is a good gun for the homestead. Now, um, you know, I like to say obviously a lot, but um, it's not so obvious that uh, the best gun is the gun you always have on hand. And um, so let me start off by that. And uh, that's this guy right here. I just put it right there. That's the Glock 19. That's what I have on me all the time. Now, um, as in most applications, uh, you want to use that particular pistol to get to one of your primary rifles and so um, on the homestead you will encounter some dangerous animals um, and let me go through and run through all the things that I've uh, shot and killed on our homestead over the years and some of the things that are dangerous to yourself uh, to your children and um, to your livestock uh, as well as your garden so um, let me talk about that as well and, um, and so one of the myths that I find often on YouTube is, uh, you know, people say, oh, the shotgun. The shotgun is the ultimate home defense, uh, the ultimate uh, um, homestead gun. And yes, it has a lot of applications. And yes, it's very versatile. I mean, you can, you know, do bird shot, turkey shot, double odd buck, uh, even slugs. And so... You know, I used to live in, in a state where you could only hunt with, uh, with a slug for deer with a rifle. So the effective range of that is under 100 yards. And so, um, and of course, you know, the main problem with the shotgun is uh, uh, not that it's uh, particularly inaccurate, especially if you use slugs, but, um, and the dispersion patterns of most of those rounds. But the real problem with the shotgun is, to me, limited capacity um, and also the weight. So given limited capacity, uh, even if you have a good, um, you know, automatic or, uh, I mean, semi-automatic or pump action, you're going to have, what, eight rounds in it uh, of shotgun? That's really not enough. And so um, the other option for a homestead is a, a rifle, you know, a high caliber rifle, and uh, that would be something in you know, a 30 odd six or 308, uh, 270, 240, whatever, like whatever your uh, hunting um, bullet of choice is. But the problem with that, once again, is limited capacity in terms of the magazine. And also, uh, the other problem with it is just finding the bullets. I mean, some of these hunting rounds are, are, are very hard to come by, they're very expensive not universal and so over the years I've moved away from um, my 308 hunting rifle I've sold all my 30 odd six years ago and so those are great rounds for hunting things like deer and and um, I guess uh, elk and and whatnot but um, I've moved away from those to the AR platform so that's what we're here to talk about today the best homestead gun or the best homestead rifle and of course, what I have is um, ARs here. And to me, that is the best because with that particular cartridge, you can do a lot. And of course, the, uh, you know, the weight, the round capacity of these rifles uh, really can't be beat. Now here, I present you two rifles. Uh, they're both uh, manufactured by uh, PSA, uh, Palmetto State Armory. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Uh, I'm not even a huge fan of their rifles in general, but they do okay in terms of the uh, quality and, uh, and uh, the turnaround and everything else. And what I want to first of all do is a, 
and I should have started off earlier, but I wanted to thank all my viewers for buying me both these guns. Uh, it took a long while to get this second gun right here, but this first gun was uh, one of the first things I bought with the YouTube monies that I made. So thank you, YouTube. Thank you, all my subscribers, for buying me this uh, fine AR. Um, this particular AR is uh, an 18-inch barrel, so it definitely hits harder, faster. Um, it's uh, it came standard with MOA furniture, but I added a couple other things. Um, red dot up there, and uh, on the homestead, you definitely need a light because things do go bump in the night, and uh, a lot of the times it's just you know uh, predators trying to get to your chickens, sheep, whatever, uh, cows, whatever have you. Um, and so to eliminate that, you need an AR with um, uh, with a light on it. And so, yes, uh, this is equipped with that. Now, this particular one is uh, the next thing I want to talk about. And uh, now you can, you can look. And of course, from the title of this video, you're going to know what this is. But hey, uh, for the people who don't like to read, like myself, <laughs> these kind of both look like ARs. That one as well as that. That's an 18-inch barrel stainless steel. The whole bolt carrier group over there, stainless steel. It's, it's pretty nice. And, um, and, uh, and so... Uh, and oh, in the front of it is a linear forward device. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be stealthy here on my homestead or anything. That just helps uh, compensate the blast and send all the sounds forward. Uh, in this particular ca uh, case right there, you have a flash hider, standard bird cage, which uh, helps with a little bit of muzzle rise, but definitely helps uh, uh, getting rid of the flash when you fire it. But this particular video is about uh, what is the best homestead uh, gun rifle? Uh, is it an AR? Is it an AK? And so, yes, I have AKs, um, but AKs, because of um, the non-modularity of it, I tend to always go back to the AR. And so the AR, you know, rails, um, places to put things like lights, you know, things like uh, uh, sights or, or uh, optics, red dot, whatever have you, it just gives you a lot of freedom. Now, if you still don't know what the difference between these two AR uh, kind of guns or ARs, I'm going to show you the next thing that uh, will maybe help you. And so here's the magazine for the AR, and here's the magazine for this guy. Does that tell you what they are? Okay, well, maybe not. So then uh, this will definitely tell you um, what is uh, what what particular bullet goes to this um, this guy right here and the other bullet that goes to this guy right here. All right, so let me try to get that back for you. Come here, bullet. All righty, here we go. So now can you tell? Well, maybe the framing's off, but I'll get it closer to you. And, obviously, these are not the same bullets. They're both steel, but one is your 223-556 typical AR cartridge, uh, 2.2, ah, 0.223 inches in terms of the, the uh, diameter and the caliber. And, of course, this is the 7.62 by 31 uh, AK round, uh, about a... 0.3 inch diameter bullet. So a heavier bullet um, does a lot more damage. Range, um, this guy has more range, the 223.556 versus the uh, AR round. But in terms of a homestead, really, uh, you know, I'm not going after game uh, any longer distance than 200 yards. So both of these cartridges will do fine for that. And uh, they're both steel case. And um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, yeah, the reliability of these rounds and, and, um, and these weapons, they have to be 100%. And so it has to be able to function with steel case, with brass, all of that good stuff. So let's get back to it. Um, so this guy right here, this guy right here is my newest addition. Thank you, YouTube and, and all my subscribers for helping me buy this. That is a PSA. Um, I believe it's called a KS-47. Now, this particular rifle is um, is an AK. I mean, yes, it looks like an AR, 
uh, has all the modularity, the functionality in terms of the bolt carrier group, um, the way it, uh, uh, it, uh, it looks, the way you can add things to it, gives you all of the benefits of an AR, but uh, is an AK. And so um, what's nice about this particular um, gun is that it's, it may become one of my favorites. It may become the home defense uh, home uh, stead gun uh, in the future. I'm not quite sure yet because, um, you know, like I said in, in the uh, earlier part of this video, as a, as a homestead gun, um, I want it to be 100%. Now, whether it's uh, my pistol or my rifle, it really has to function flawlessly. I don't care too much about the way it looks. Um, I, uh, I really care about the features of it um, and uh, the reliability of it. So with that said, you know, you'll say, hey, AKs, you know, all the way. And, and it's true, like you can fire, you know, dirty AKs, you don't basically have to clean it, very low maintenance. That is not the case with this particular gun. Because it is in an AR type of platform, it suffers some of the same things. Um, and so, yes, you'll have to keep it clean. Uh, you'll have to maintain it um, just like your normal AR. Um, now, this AK, though, uh, like I said, um, it's almost it's almost 100%. It for me ran about I would say 98%. I had some light primer strikes on my um, uh, 7.6. Uh, 7 uh, I can't even say it now. Basically, I, I'll call it AK ammo, <laughs> my AK ammo, and uh, it functioned almost flawlessly. Um, it, uh, it, it had some life primer strikes. M my particular load that I was using, I think, was tool ammo, uh, the, the poly performance. So I figure if, um, if I use different types or better types of, uh, of uh, 7.62 by 39, um, I, um, I can probably get it to work 100%. So, you know, wolf ammo, something better, military spec. Uh, but with that said, uh, it's becoming a, a pretty, um, pretty uh, favorite gun for me in the sense that it's just as lightweight as an AR platform. So even though this is uh, 18 and a half inches longer, so you're gonna get a little bit more weight, there's other junk on it, like that light, stream light, light and, um, and that little uh, fore-end grip. But um, that right there is less than seven pounds with, with that red dot, uh, red dot uh, without um, a loaded magazine, and that is about a seven and a half pound AR. So really, um, apples to apples. Now, once you load it up with ammo, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit heavier, obviously, using uh, AKs, but, um, but very similar, very comparable in terms of uh, functionality, um, the way it feels in your, you know, in your shoulder pocket, all of that is exactly the same. And, um, and so that's what I really like about this PSA um, KS47. Uh, and I would, I would highly recommend it. Um, like I said, once I can get some of that, that thing to function 100%, um, then uh, yeah, that might be my go-to uh, homestead rifle. Now the things I've killed with, with at least that, not not this anything, but I've killed everything from uh, snakes to um, so anything dangerous affects me, homestead whatever. Uh, bunnies, yeah, they're not really dangerous, but if they're eating all your uh, garden food, then yeah, that becomes kind of dangerous. Um, what else? Uh, possums raccoons uh, for chickens um, and um, armadillos uh, I mean there are mountain lions in this area I haven't shot one of those yet but um, I've I've uh, shot a black bear around here so yeah lots of things that could uh, get you your your family or the things you eat so oh and of course I can't forget the deer ugly they they eat your garden and your fruit trees and and so, yeah, um, they need to be eliminated. And of course you can eat those. And so you're not wasting it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing to get rid of deer like that. 
And so, yeah, th that's the kind of uh, things that I do with with my rifles. Um, and, obvious, and obviously, uh, you use your pistol to get to your rifle. And so that has been my primary rifle of choice. Um, that particular one has a, uh, a SIG red dot. This one has a hollow sun red dot, you know, basically the same. I think they're both manufactured by the same people. And this guy has a Streamlight um, TR1 um, HL. I think it's about uh, 800 lumens, something like that. It's very bright. Um, I'll probably outfit this particular um, uh, AK with the same with the same light system. Uh, and of course, yes, I don't have the uh, slings here, but you absolutely need a sling, as shown recently by the uh, um, incidences out there. Um, <laughs> in the world you definitely need a sling and so yes um, my main homestead uh, weapon of choice uh, for pretty much everything is the AR-15 and um, right behind that for the moment in time is this particular AK the other reason why um, I tend to favor the AK you know most recently is availability of these guys right here as we as we know, um, there is a shortage of both guns and ammunition, and especially this guy right here, uh, two two three five five six, much much harder to get. Uh, you're going to be paying double, even triple, uh, what normally it should cost versus this round right here, the AK round, which still is fairly reasonable. I mean, it's ever so slightly, maybe 10%, 20% higher than what it used to cost, but you can find it and, um, and yeah, it's not uh, super, super expensive like this guy. So in terms of, you know, prepper being in terms of like a homestead for longevity and being able to find what you need, um, the AK round is the way to go. I mean, this will not sell out, um, you know, in most instances. I mean, I've lived through things like, um, you know, Sandy, Sandy Hook, um, you know, multiple elections, things like that. This is the last thing to sell out. I mean, 22 sell out before this guy. <laughs> so in that sense, uh, you know, Russian ammo, Chinese ammo, they'll still be around. Um, versus, yes, the 223556 may or may not be around. So in that sense, for these times, an AK might be the better choice. And of course, in terms of what I like to do with this, uh, especially for a larger game, uh, the AK is the way to go um, in terms of uh, the bullet weight and the amount of damage it can do. Now, with proper placement, 223556, you're going to take anything down in North America. Uh, but that's uh, with proper uh, placement. With the AK, uh, not so much. You got a little bit more leeway. And so, yeah, that's the other advantage of an AK. But in this particular platform, uh, an AR-styled AK, like this PSA uh, KS-47, that has everything. That has everything of the best of, of, of what you can get in a rifle. And so, yeah, I mean, if this thing it was 100% reliable, this would be my go-to gun. But it's not. <laughs> like I said, light primer strikes on some of this stuff. So that is still my primary rifle. Uh, that's why it has the light on it. But maybe that'll become my favorite uh, go-to rifle in the future. And then it'll get a light and whatever. And so thank you, YouTube. Thank you, uh, all my fans on, uh, on this channel for being able to... Uh, provide the funds for me to get this uh, free uh, free gun, free rifle. And so, yeah, um, thank you. And, um, and hopefully uh, this republic will remain. That's it. All righty. Shalom.